by playing that. And gonna fight over this first bounty rune, but we're gonna start off with the battery assault from Boxy. Fly, he's taking the brunt of the damage now. Crit might have to just leave him to his own devices. Gets off the onslaught, but Fly is gonna be first blood as Nisha is the one that takes it. And if you're Abed right now, you're like, come on, guy. <laughs> Just going to a horrible spot in the middle of the lane. It's like obviously that's gonna get killed. But I think it has to do with players. What do you Dota expect? players having ADD on average as Insania <laughs> Company trying to take out this tombstone. It's gonna get denied. It does slow Insania quite a bit. Fly blocking him off nicely as well. That leads to yeah, a kill in nice this play. bottom lane for both Saberlight and Fly. The help from Fly. As top lane, Boxy's getting gone on. Trample is enough. So crit, he's able to Definitely help out in this lane. Go of Liquid is going to be crucial in terms of how they execute. And what kind of a build would you say we're going to be seeing on Mickey's Tiny? As might have some action first before you answer that. Oh. Insania getting gone on. Malefice into the decay. More than enough damage. So they're able to be consistently killing Insania, who's 0-2 right now. Yeah, this lane is just very annoying. Like, actually, if you're out of position with CM, you get stunned, you're dead. You get decay, two missed drops, Blightstone. You die. In terms of Mika's item build, huh? Is it just maybe like some Echo Saber into Blink? I feel like that's what I saw last time. Mm. It should be that, because like you want some scaling and then like a Blink around the 50 minute mark. As Crit is gonna say bye bye. Yep, finally oh, drops on that Primal Beast. But bottom lane, Mika is gonna get rolled on from Abed and company, gets off the toss. TP supports are coming, but here comes the Black Hole from Saberlight, and they're able to finish off Mickey in style. Nisha, though, oh, he gets a double kill with one slight. Saberlight looks to be next. Not a triple kill, but they do find both down here. So a nice rotation from Nisha to clean up, but... Nine minutes? Yeah, yeah not too shabby. Not too shabby. Pretty, pretty chunk typical Nisha stuff here. Yeah. yeah. And... He sees Saberlight, he's gonna get some vision here. Nisha gets off the Searing Chain, Saberlight. Obviously, like you said, no black hole to work with, and Boxy just gonna try to potentially steal some XP from Nisha. Killing him. One more slight should do it. There he goes. So that is a 4-0-1 start for Nisha, who... But Saberlight's uh, made his way to the mid lane. Yeah, there's gonna be some poking. I like what Saberlight is doing, where he kind of understands that him be him being against Ember is like the worst thing that can happen on the map right oh, now. Top lane, Zai takes the first Laguna Blade of the game. And Arteezy... Mid lane as looks well. Looks like some action bottom as well as a big slide of fist comes out from Nisha. So across the board at the two for one in favor of Shopify. Nice Make it three for one. Nice swash from Abed. And a high chance of this happening. So they're already mm -hmm. here smoked themselves. Top tower Nature's ult also ready. Yep, Hookshot is available. There's the initiation on the Mickey, but he gets off the toss. Hookshot is there as well, and Crit stuck inside the cogs. It's going to be an easy cleanup for Liquid, and now they're going to try to get more. Frostbite on the fly. Ooh. Searing change just barely not in time. It would have led to likely a third kill. But either way, Nisha still unstoppable as he takes out Fly. This offlane natures, as uh, Insania might be finding a little present yep. in the triangle. I think he'll be happy doesn't, with that present count. if it leads to a kill the other way around because oh. he's a sacrifice. Searing Chains onto two. Oh my god, the Wrath of Nature does so much damage. They pop the mech to Saber. Oh, he actually hole. gets off the black hole. Laguna Blade is there as well. Huge kill onto Nisha. Two for nothing. Great turnaround uh -oh, from Shopify more. as Mickey looks to be next. Rolling Thunder applies twice. Boxy, all he can do is watch as his position one tiny gets decimated. Triple kill for Abed. A tier one tower as well. I thought for sure that that having his team with the bonus armor, a bit of heal. I would say a rare mistake, like over committing at the wrong time, but Shopify with the nice move, smoking into a triangle. Oh, crit, hello. Yes, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Boxy with the kill seal. Primal Beast is one of the most pathetic heroes if he's rooted. I swear to yeah, God, he really so is. useless. I, mean, I don't know if there's a hero in the game, not this game, but like in Dota in general, that. Yeah, we'll he, see. he for sure will. It's like a cool build that I've seen from the mids too, where you split the... Was it the Echo for... I mean, usually they do it for Ags, actually, how I've seen it. So I was about to say something very stupid. Either way, he can That's split okay. it. okay. <laughs> I'll just say that you were right, even though you were wrong. Yes. As crit, he's dead. His ult lasted about 0.1 seconds, which is usually the, the case sound when you don't have BKB.
global because then you don't know if he's in your lane. But now you you do know. I mean, I feel like people just get people just get scared as hell when that spell gets used. So I, yeah. I don't know. If I played primal, which I don't, I would just spam it. <laughs> yep. As Fly, he's, he's gonna flying. get spotted here. Hookshot is there, and he's gonna end up dropping inside the cogs. But here comes Crit. It's the trample going. Boxy. With all that slow apply, applied to Crit. He can barely in. move. Look at the the ult from Nature's Prophet. The root just catches all four, and Crit is just one pathetic Ooh, fat nice creature. Play. It's a two for Nada. Both supports dead for Shopify. <laughs> he needs to try to work towards that BKB. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is such a hard Primal Beast game. Just watching him get kited as uh, we see Boxy using his jetpack to get some D ward action going, but Fly's going to get the better of that eventually. Big ult from Nature's Prophet again, but Saberlight has the mech. And Insania pops his. Where is Nisha? They got some vision as the Rocket Flares continue to come out. Arteezy not fully committing, just on the outskirts of the pit. And obviously have to worry about the hook shot. There's just so many avenues here there for the is. initiation. Arteezy, he gets initiated on the pots of BKB. He's just stuck inside his own cog. Nice rolling thunder from Abed and Pulverize actually full duration from Crit. So they end up taking out Insania as Crit and company Roche now can low. try to finish off the old Roche. And they do so successfully. Nicely done from Shopify. Nisha continuing to try to be annoying, but not able to take out the Aegis here. If Mickey, he can go in combo, three volley, stay on range. Don't commit into like the roll, the tombstone, and the black hole. So right. it makes a lot of sense. Up, saber light. Saber light, I should say. Saber well, late. He's a little late. He's late to live. That's for sure. He's dead. And uh, nice pick off there. It's invis right now. Rolling. Ooh. Okay, he cancels it. As is they roll need to up, commit though. to Roche, I think. But now it's too late. Yep, now Nisha is showing himself. He's gonna take a swashbuckle to the face. There's a glide near LSA to follow Laguna Blade as well, but the hookshot mm -hmm. counter initiation and Nisha pops the BKB and instead they clean up crit very easily. And Arteezy and company trying to focus down Mickey. There's a nice black hole onto two. Nice black Abed has a shield crash available with the Aghanim Scepter, so doing a lot of damage in tow. But Arteezy's yeah. the one getting focused down. He drops to the deck, double buyback from Shopify. As Sigurd right now in the pit, getting cogs back. And they're able to take out Nisha, so they get something out of this and obviously the roche is gonna be the next thing on the list for shopify it's a four for three with three buybacks on shopify game winning or game changing shard at all it's uh i feel like they're lacking like this plus one stun like if arteezy had like a plus one with him as he could be in a bit of mm -hmm. trouble in the top lane yeah he's in trouble this is gonna be life number one very easily he gets silenced and i don't see anybody from shopify able to close the gap here so this will likely be a second death for Arteezy. Oh, he got insta combo. He does get his... Oh, he actually popped the BKB. Nice job with the toss to get that off beforehand. Damage here. I think they're probably going to be resigned to give up this set of racks, but they're just trying to delay it so that they can't go for a second one, perhaps. But Mickey jumps in. Avatos. Abed he gets the Greaves. Fly to him. Has his ult available, as we see... Crit wants to go in with his BKB, so this is all without their Lena position one available to even fly back into this game. Abed, he's in Rolling Thunder, but everybody's black hole nice right black now. Hole. That's two of them. They're gonna be able to get off a nice shield crash Abed into the beautiful godlike. swatch. Abed double kill. Nisha jumping in, doesn't have much mana to speak of now as they're gonna apply all the pressure to Zai instead. Malefice is there. Nisha's gonna die too. Nisha getting gone on by Abed. This is gonna be a quadruple. Uh, by quadruple, I mean triple. Remember, you have to agree with everything I say. Triple double kill. <laughs> double kill. Absolutely. <laughs> Full team wipe in favor of Shopify. They somehow defend without Arteezy. What the hell just happened? Lotus, which I think Fly looks like he's building now. I mean, I guess, but you're still gonna be like Leash in this. Super Sprout, which is very annoying for you. Oh Maybe you boy, just played... the Avatos oh. and absolute destruction of crit. He is donezo. Nice he force. On the Mickey, but he pops his BKB boxy, gets off the cogs. All right, he's going to get away safely thanks to the, the jetpack. But here's the black hole applied to Mickey. So that is the bigger of the two kills that come out in favor of Shopify. Nisha still has a few remnants left to go, so he's still going to be a difficult pickup. Bash is not going to be there. He actually pops his BKB, now applying some more pressure, this time to Arteezy. Zai jumps in as well with a BKB of his own, and a double sprout leash. What a god. Zai now trying to stand his ground. They're continuing to try to chase his Ember Spirit, but not going to find it. Instead, they're going to find the Lina, and now Saberlight. That is a lot of damage coming out from that freezing field of Insania. Pops the Greaves. Abed trying oh, to Abed. go in. He actually gets a nice bash. Beautifully done. Can no they mana. do enough damage to Nisha? He's completely out of mana. It looks like Saberlight will eventually drop. 
And now another Sprout, which is a leash upon Abe. That is going to be a huge kill for Liquid. His first death of the game. Ah. That one. It is Axe. All right. <laughs> Cinderin, you suck. Continue you're to play your World Just of Warcraft. There's the jump in. Instant Hex onto Boxy. He's dead. Nice pick off from Shopify. He does have buyback, though. They, they have to force use... it here as they can try to go for Roche, yeah. but you can see that Liquid are aware of this as well as the Treant is in there. They did use Roll and BKB, so if they have buyback, it's high skill, actually. <laughs> no. Oh, <my> <laughs> and that, what is that exactly? If that, if holding it was uh, high skill, buying back surely is the opposite, right? Ah, uh, that was also high skill. Oh, hook shot. Boxy's already found his way into this play. Laguna Blade is there from Arteezy. They get the support kill. That's a dieback onto the clockwork. Fly is oh, gonna buy back in the game in turn. Oh, oh! Black Pearl is dodged! Nisha is fucking incredible! <laughs> My, this guy's reaction time is ridiculous! Is he a robot? Good lord, good Gaven! Arteezy's As you dying. can see, Arteezy, he's gonna get gone on now. And the instant hex though, Nisha, okay, we just called him a god. He's gonna get right click down into the He has buyback, he needs to run He's right as well, he's gonna get off the old kill. He does he die, he but he does have the buyback, as you said. And more importantly for Shopify, they have three dead with no buybacks. Defensive measure. Boxy is on a mission. <laughs> Pretty much impossible to kill. Oh, Boxy. Okay, yeah, Boxy <laughs> has found his way into the enemy base where he will die. So that's that buys funny. Shopify a little extra time. Unless yeah. Liquid want to go 4v5, which... It's not even max out yet. Uh, he can drop his boots, he can upgrade his Maelstrom to Gleipnir, he can get Refresher, eat his eggs. Like, this Ember is... He is peaking, but this peak oh. is... What the hell? Alright, that's Fine. life number one for Tony. And Nisha is on the cliff, but I don't think they're going to try to pursue him. Instead, they're going to black hole the Kai, Nikki. and they will get him. So a little bit of overconfidence here, potentially, from Liquid. But they are going to be able to get the crit at the Ooh, very Nika least. Batch onto Nisha. Can they get the sheep on top of him? Nope. Going to remnant away. So let's BKB. The slide of fist and the BKB to ensure his exit. Zai might not be so lucky, though. He's going to get sheeped up. LSA is there as well. So Shopify getting a couple of very high-value clips. Get him, Zai. Okay. Pops the old satanic. Rampage. Just standing his ground, but eventually he will lose this battle because, well, it is 4v1 after all. That's not fair. Happening. The Roche pit where him. Insania just happened to randomly yeah. be. They have no easy way to scout it out, so... Oh, but they're going to run right into oh, Zai. Zai. Okay, that actually worked out quite well for Shopify. But here comes the hook shot. The initiative nice hook. Sandy Arteezy just focusing on Zai and the team. But Black Hole onto Nisha. You got to kill the raid box. Do they, can they do it? No. Refresher now popped by Enigma. Gets off another Black Hole. This one's pretty good as well. They take out the CM to start. The Tiny is next on the list. The Zai happening? has healed up greatly thanks to the Satanic. But it's an Enigma for a CM right now as the buybacks come through. And Arteezy has to completely reset because no HP. And away they go. Oh Mickey my has God, come. He's going to right click Arteezy. He is dead oh, for Josh. 90 seconds. Does have buyback. Nice over. clip near onto two. Crit pops the Ghost Scepter, but will likely fall shortly after. Going to get off the onslaught. Getting healed by Fly. Gets to the high ground. Getting continued to be chased here, though. There's the Avalanche. And the triple kill from Mickey. He is doing ridiculous damage with oh, that geez. Silver Edge. Buy back now onto crit. Laguna Blade. Okay, they're gonna try to go onto the tiny. Nika's this no would be back. a dieback potentially, but they get the Avatar and Zai is here for the right click as well. And the slide of faith. That's a lot of damage coming out from the Ember Spear, but they kill Arteezy. They kill four heroes in total, and the last remaining member of Shopify is Abed, who is now in a 1v4 situation, and the GG's come out. What an yeah. awesome game of Dota in this game number one. What the hell was I actually like? Some of these fights are insane. There are some black holes sucking people around and beastly wild wing. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> it's so sl what? I thought it channeled longer. Anyway, up. Oh, Insania. That's the. Trouble. I think that's the old Penitence. one. The old one lasted for like five minutes. Insania taking all oh, the have... damage in the meantime. The tornado's oh. there as well, and the first blood for Saberlight on the position three. Chen, you heard the tag team. Another true, Wowzers true. combo. <laughs> Well, it's gonna take tornado is ready damage again. here via the pounce he's and dead. okay i'm so only looking top by the way he's dead <laughs> i'm okay. not looking at any other hero than this gen <laughs> okay well he he dies his bat rider favorite in general once you get to a certain point i guess the early lane is fine because you just stand your ground but yeah the longer the game goes it's usually a very annoying matchup for dp 
Oh, we're seeing That's the tag the top team lane. top and Sania feeling the brunt Into the body of the damage. Blocks. And the Wild Wing is also is blocking. Out. Saberlight. Pretty annoying for the likes of Slark. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, Boxy is rotating to the top lane, which is a pretty nice rotation. Yep, they're going to go on top of Saberlight. Pounces there. Tree toss as well. 3v1 for now. And... They're going to find them. So second death for Saberlight. You can see that they're really worried about this offlane Chen. Probably because they don't know what the hell to expect. Uh-oh, Nisha. Abed, Just... And Nisha picks Insania up the has gen. TP. Fly is here. This is the first lasso of the game. Crit has come as well. Gets off the snowball. Tag team as well. We get purge for Nisha, oh. but he gets blocked in nice shards from Crit. But he's healing so much with his Spirit Siphon. Crit's sworn to follow, and he's gonna ah. get the kill first, and Sania does onto Abed. No way! If Nisha lives here, surely he goes down at some point. He's gonna get healed oh. up, and he will actually live. That Abba is toss. disastrous for Shopify. Boxy with the toss back, has the avalanche, and instead of getting the kill on Nisha, they lose two heroes, does Shopify. That is brutal. Oh. Understand. He comes at the perfect time, barely lives. He's also buying a mech into Greece, which is great. And now, yeah. Who's pressuring who now in the mid lane? <laughs> yep, Exo is pop. Boxy, oh, if they can get this kill. Some TP's coming in the form of Fly. But a lot of damage being applied, and that is the death of Abed. Oh, God, they're all no gonna die. Way to TP now. And more heals applying to Nisha as he has a double kill. This is getting out of hand really quick as the tier one tower already at half health. Uh, and Abed has to walk his way back to lane once he's up in 10 seconds, but his tower might not be here. By that. Ruple good. It's just amazing. Wow, that's a lot of good. Yeah. Well, he's going to be able to here. get a nice room, but it gets purged off. That is unfortunate for him. And he's going to try to get the kill onto Insania, but he's going to die first. So it's a one for one trade, and now Saberline in a little bit of trouble. We'll be TPing out, though, as no stun is to come here from Liquid. And Abed. Like Arteezy will just have a free game. And. That's something that Liquid can be okay with. Because, as we talked about earlier, as maybe we have to not talk about this, Nisha top. Yep, Exorcism is here. Crit is in a lot of trouble, gets tossed back and is dead. Nisha has his third kill of the game, 3-0 and 3. And the pounce can reveal Fly as he is in the trees right now. Gonna get healed up a bit by Insania, but then eventually bursted down. Then like killing the tower and then manifesting themselves in the enemy jungle which hasn't happened yet. So that's already a big downfall. And then you can ball up, which is something that they're looking to do now on the Smith Tower. And honestly, they might get it. They probably will. But there's a big timing where their five man is kind of lame. On oh, they're going deep here. They get off the snowball and the ice shards block okay. as well. Insani is here with the false promise available. Not going to use it though to save his support tiny. Instead, Mickey has come to play, just focusing all his efforts on the fly. That's going to be a lot of oh, stacks of death and shit. He's just getting dragged away. DP. Yep. He that lives. False promise should be there. It is. Is he going to be able to heal through it with that spirit siphon? Lots of damage being applied now to Saberlight as they get that kill relatively easily. And Nisha will heal through it all. And it looks like Crit is next on the list for Liquid. So they lose the support tiny. And in turn, they get both supports from Shopify and the position three Chen to boot. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think the hero scales particularly well versus like a lot of the other position threes that you would normally see. Yeah, it doesn't. Especially like this hero as Fly is going to get killed bottom. Uh, hmm. This is not a particularly great Chen game when it comes to like fighting later because like, I don't want to keep saying it, but this game is very hard for Shopify already at this stage. Oh, Arteezy, he's not going to be gone. Instead, they're going to go oh, for the creeps. That shows you their priorities right now on Team Liquid's side. Crit and company. We're going to find something, but Insane is going to be able to walk away. Nisha gets off his exorcism, and with that, I think Shopify just try to dodge this fight. And Mikke, he has come to fight as well with the Diffusal Blade, newly picked up. Crit. He did get pounced, but it's going to use his snowball to get back into the fray, but now we'll back up as kind of an awkward fight from both sides. But Nisha, he's the one taking the birth of the damage as Arteezy's still in the meta form. There's the hand of Gaben, healing up crit. Looks like he's barely going to live as a result. And the segregation of this fight just showing it in spades here as Nisha continuing to get healed, but the Exo is now ending. And you can see Shopify desperately want to take a fight now, knowing that that big ult is on cooldown, but... In the end, nobody dies. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs>
<laughs> both teams are just kiting back and forth. Uh, to be fair, this does happen in a lot of games where two very good teams are playing and they're all staying on range as they are. Like even now, Foxy is like, they're kind of toying with them. They know that there's a ward up there, but they're just staying on high range. Uh, top lane, Zai. Okay, Wrath of Nature. But... Yeah, Zai, he... <laughs> he just stood okay. Oh, I didn't know this fight was going to continue, but haven't seen much as of yet from Saberlight to indicate why they would have chosen this, but he's going to get the stomp off on the Mickey, but they might just be able to clean these up. He's, fact, burning he's going to go on top of Saberlight instead, and there's another route, this time in the form of the Wrath of Nature. Saberlight is dead. Looks like crit is next. Double kill for Mickey. Do they see Fly? It looks like they do, so this is just getting out of control now. Will That's you be? Freebie, I guess. Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. All right. It's ruined. They've ruined it. Zai they has ruined it. taken one for the team, apparently. I hate Zai. <laughs> Nisha. He's unkillable. He's, getting, He's actually yeah, I was unkillable. I going to say, they're trying to initiate on him, but I don't think they can, they can do anything about him. Crit's going to die. 5 to 20. The toss back from Boxy. 5 to 2. And Let's go. Saberlight will die for the sixth time this game, and now. The pounce applies to Arteezy. Oh. He gets bursted. Oh, another this one. This is just, yeah, they're just feeding Mickey die. everything he wants. Triple kill for him. He has a permanent 14 Agi at... And come back into this game. Split the side lanes, get some pickups with Lassos, and hope to split up the crit. Crit Bye -bye. is dead. Arteezy just trying to get some... Oh my god, at half HP from one spell. He's fine. He gets oh, the Sunder off onto Fly. They might be able to kill him right off the bat. On top of this, Overgrowth to try to More save kills. him. It's not happening. And now Abed, he pops his BKB, so he should be able to live. Focusing all his efforts on Zai is a double buyback from Shopify. Oh, trying to himself. get something out of this. They get the Nature's <laughs> Profit. Oracle, that is who you have to lasso. That They're is back. not a good sign for Shopify. They're back. Meta pop smoke. Go Roche. Go Roche. Right. Roche. Roche. Right. Roche. I like that they're not forcing the Mitar. And Boxy is... Yep, he's going to get the Avatos back into Mickey. And <laughs> the Wrath of Nature just feels like it does so much damage. And the top lane, Zai using that momentum to try to take out Crit inside the Sprout. He's donezo as well. And the it doesn't sprouts. feel like Arteezy and the rest of Shopify can farm anywhere. In fact, they He's might dead. be able to kill Arteezy twice. And if they do, I don't, maybe that's enough for them to call GG. That's death number one. Everyone should high-five and... right now. <laughs> <laughs> can we see the first five-man high-five? No. That would have been Arteezy's funny. dead. He would be zapping people out of this game real quick. That's oh, right, Foxy. Avatos back, and Crit's gonna die. Arteezy hit the reflection button, but not gonna do too much in the current state of things for Shopify. Hmm. And gonna have to go back to the drawing board because Liquid have just looked like they're on another tier entirely. The toss back, Abed pops the BKB. That'll allow him to live. But again, not a whole lot of damage being applied, but they got the stop off onto Nisha. There's the false promise. And then the lasso afterwards. Nice timing as the leash now applied to Arteezy. Can he get a Sunder off? Negatory. Nisha, full HP. GG's are finally called. This was a Gaben's mustache shellacking, maybe even a top hat. Oh, he has that. Liquid just dumpstered the crap out of Shopify. And yeah, the, the Dagon does get a kill. But they have okay. 12 wins, which nobody else can get to. So they are insured, in my opinion. <laughs>